Hello everyone, today I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how you can create that cool good kind of journal background that you see sometimes in my videos. It kind of adds like this interest in the background where it's just, instead of just my face, so instead of just the tutorial window, um, you kind of have this cool journal page kind of feel in the background. It kind of just adds interest and this can also be used if your video only has text and there's no footage or no face cam to add interest to the video and you kind of want to spice up the background instead of just being, you know, a, a blank color in the background with text. You kind of want to add some some texture, some interest in the background. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to generators by the effects menu. You're going to go to solid color and I like, you know, um, a mute gray for my background because it doesn't, I don't want it to take too much from the rest of the design. So I'm going to click on the solid color, I'm going to go to generator, and then I'm going to go click on color, and I'm just going to raise this up a bit. There we go, that's okay. And this is going to be the background. And now I want to go to effects, and I want to go to adjustment clip, drag that on top, and this is where you're going to apply the grid effect on. So you're going to go to open effects, you're going to search grid, I like that on there. And initially, I don't, uh, I really don't like how this looks. I kind of wanted to match. I don't know if you've seen the journals that instead of normal lines, they come with different squares. As you can see here, the lines are not evenly thick. So to change that, you're going to go over here, and you're going to go drop this all the way down. As you can see, now it's all even. And then this might be enough for you. You might be like, okay, I like the squares so big, but I don't. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to up the number here, and then I'm going to go the bottom. There we go. And as you can see, it's way too strong for the design that I showed initially. So you can go to video, you can go to composite, and then you can drop the opacity. Hmm. I think I'm going to make the squares a bit bigger. Just a bit bigger. You could leave it like this, but I like to add texture. I'm a very big uh, texture guy, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another adjustment layer. Um, and as you can see the name here, I put paid because the effects that I'm going to use are only available in the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. I will show you in a bonus section afterwards how you can do a free version of this. So I'm going to go to paid and I'm going to search by open effects, foam, and then get foam grain drop that on there. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Before I do the main settings, I'm going to up the strength so you can see what each setting does. So I'm going to take the grain strength over here and I'm going to bring it all the way up. You can immediately see it adds nice texture to the background, but as you can see it's way too big. First I'm going to fiddle with the texture. As you can see if I make it all the way up, the texture looks very digital. I don't really like this. It looks almost like microorganisms floating together. Uh, so I'm going to go all the way to the opposite direction. As you can see, it immediately gets very rustic, very, it's like, almost like a, like a, it's almost like a paper kind of feel, papyrus kind of feel almost. So I'm going to keep it like that. And then I'm going to take the grain size and bring it all the way down. It's a very fine effect. I really, I really, really like this effect. As you can see, if I add my text, um, I'll take the text that I made already before uh, doing this tutorial. I'm going to drag it into the text layer. You can see the text also has, let me um, zoom in. You can see the text in the glow effect that I added over the text, it also has this cool grain applied to it. And I really, really like this overall effect that it gives. Okay, now for the free way you can do this, I'm going to remove the paid adjustment layer, I'm just going to delete it. And then, as you can see here, I've ha I have old foam grain overlays. I found this on YouTube, I will link them in the description below. The only problem I find with these is, when you download them from YouTube, it's very, very low quality, or it is high quality but it's very smudgy, the, the, the YouTube compresses the, the, the footage, so if you can f maybe find it on a stock footage website for free. I've tried to look on my usual uh, free stock footage websites, but, it's, but I can't really find any foam grain overlays. Um, so I found these on YouTube and I'm just compromising. So I'm going to start from scratch, so I'm going to go to my media pool, I'm going to double click on the, the grain. As you can see if I zoom in, this is uh, basically stock footage of just grain. I'm going to go to the foam icon which uh, basically gets rid of the sound and I can just drag in the shot. There we go. Uh, as you can see I named it uh, unpaid because it's free. And then I'm just going to shorten it. There we go. And as you can see it's covering the background and you don't want that. So you're going to go to composite and you're going to click on soft light. Where is that? There. Soft light. There we go. And as you can see, let me take it away, show before and after. Before, 
after. So it, for me, it's like very smudgy because it's YouTube. Um, but if you're not very picky, you can use YouTube uh, overlays that they give for free. Uh, if not, then I suggest you either get the full version of DaVinci Resolve or you just go to stock footage websites and hopefully they have uncompressed, very clean uh, film overlays. Um, I have another bonus one here. Um, let me just get it real quick. It's uh, a lot of like random film sketches, as you can see. So I'm going to choose a part that I like. So I'm going to press I. That's where it's going to start taking the, the shot. And I'm going to scroll a bit down. Press O for where it stops taking. And I'm going to drag it in. As you can see, the, the covered again. So I'm going to go to Composite. And I'm going to go to Color Dodge, because I just felt this looks the best. And as you can see, you have some, you have now a cool, interesting background. So if you just have text and you want to add some interest, this is quite, it's very simple. As you, can, as you saw, like, it's only a few steps to making this. Uh, so it's quite simple. What I normally like doing is I still like to have my effects separate, so I'm not going to combine that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the grid, which let me just show you. Let me just delete this extra stuff. So if I get rid of this, this is the grid. So I'm going to put that back, and this is the color. So I'm going to combine these two, going to, I'm going to, Drag over both of them, right click, new compound clip. I'm going to call this base underscore background. Okay, so this is now one layer. And this is the text, so I can always just change it. And these are all the, you know, the special effects that I put on top of it. Quick bonus tip, if you want to add some cool designs in these squares, what you're going to realize is these lines are going to be in the way and look very unprofessional. So what I do is, I, let me just make this higher. This is before I combine them, so let me just uh, uh, let me just say let me just undo all of this. There we go. I'm just gonna bring this up. And then what I like to do is I like to take solid color, duplicate it, put it on top, and then what I do is I use the cropping uh, tool to kind of crop where I want it. Let's zoom in. So say I want a design along this line here, but I don't want the lines to get in the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop it until. Let me just, there we go. I'm gonna go to the right side, crop it. There we go. As you can see, now, now you have some nice uh, space over here to add some cool designs if you wanted to. And now I can crop the top. Maybe I wanted to only cover that line. Crop the bottom. There we go, as you can see, all the lines are gone. It's a bit convoluted, but as soon as you have all the layers of all the areas that you want to crop, you can do the same thing. You can drag over the background, right-click, compound clip, and you can name it base underscore background. Before you go, also normally what I do to add some other interest or some more grunge to the actual shot, what I like to do is I like to go to effects, and I like to go another adjustment layer, and I go to open effects, and I search Vignette, drag it on there. As you can see, immediately it's, 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 it's a bit too much. So we can go to size, bring it back a bit. And softness is basically how harsh the transition is. As you can see, if you make it all the way down, it's like a harsh line. So let's just uh, do it like that. There we go. And there you go. That's how you can make the simple journal-esque background that I use in some of my videos. Uh, yeah, thank you.